Somebody was asked what is heaven and what is hell, how do you define that? The answer was in a joking format but maybe quite relevant in today's context. He said heaven is to have an Indian wife, Chinese food, British home and an American salary. Okay, and what is hell? Hell is an American wife, British food, Chinese home and an Indian salary. So this term of Indian salary has changed quite a bit because a lot of Indians are coming back but they are coming back after having established themselves outside India with a decent cushion of bank balance and then coming back. However, from an Indian context, especially for those at the beginning of their career, the salary packages at an initial phase are still a lot to be desired and henceforth there is a definite urge amongst young generation as to at least let's go outside India, look for opportunities there and maybe, maybe not come back. So from a finance perspective, other sort of finance courses and degrees to have to avoid your chances of going abroad. Let's discuss that in this video. The first one, CFA program. The CFA program is offered by the CFA Institute is one of the most recognized finance certifications globally. It focuses on investment management, financial analysis and portfolio management. Typical duration is for two to four years for this CFA degree. Three levels of exams, level one, level two, level three. So you are eligible to appear for level one even if you are an undergraduate student. Uh, and you know, just after your plus two also, you can eligible to appear for the CFA level one exam. For getting the charter, you need to have at least, you know, at least few years of relevant work experience. And as far as the job prospects are concerned, it opens up options for the candidates in, as financial analyst, as a portfolio manager, investment banker, or an equity research analyst. Typical salary range in an Indian context, you know, it ranges from six lakhs to fifteen lakhs as a fresher or with you know, you know the label goes up as as you have more experience the second one is cpa degree the cpa certification is offered by the american institute of certified public accountants it is highly valued in accounting and finance roles especially in the firms dealing with the us based clients typically you can complete a C cpa in 12 to 18 months it has four sections. The structure of the exam is in four sections. Auditing and attestation, business environment and concepts, financial accounting and reporting, and regulation. So when it comes to the eligibility, it varies by state boards of US and generally require a bachelor's degree, you know, so that you can start with your CPA preparation. When it comes to the job prospects, it opens up options for the candidates as public accountants or as tax advisors or as corporate accountants. The typical salary in an Indian context ranges from 7 lakhs to 90 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum depending upon your experience as, as you move along. The next degree, the Certified Management Accountant. The CMA certification is offered by the Institute of Management Accountants, the IMA. It focuses on financial planning, analysis, control and decision support. Typically, 6 to 12 months is a reasonable time to complete this uh, CMA degree. It has two parts again. Uh, the structure is CMA part 1 and part 2. Financial planning, performance and analytics and it covers strategic financial management. So those are the things which are covered in part 1 and part 2 of the CMA uh, examination. You can typically start your CMA even after your plus 2. You know, you require a bachelor's degree and two years of professional experience to actually get your charter for CMA. And when it comes to the job prospects, it opens up options for the candidates as management accountant, as financial analyst, as corporate finance managers. The typical salary range ranges from 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum and it will keep on increasing as you know, as you have more tenure into the system. The fourth one is the financial risk manager. The FRM certification is offered by the Global Association of Risk Professionals, GARP, and is ideal for those who are interested in the risk management profiles. Typical duration, one to two years. That's a reasonable time when you can complete your uh, FRM uh, exam. 
uh, it has two levels, FRM level 1 and FRM level 2. The good part is FRM is that you can also appear for both the groups at the same time. And even if you are a 12th pass out, you can you know, start preparation for your FRM examination. You know, but for you to get the charter, you need to have at least few years of working in the risk management profile. And as far as the job prospects are concerned, risk, you know, it opens up options for you as a risk manager, as a risk analyst, as a chief risk officer. Typical salary range is in the range of 6 to 10 lakhs per annum and, you know, more the number of years you add as with this FRM uh, degree, you know, your value in the market increases. The next one is the Charter Alternative Investment Analyst. The CAIA certification focuses on alternative investments such as hedge funds, such as private equity and real assets. Uh, when it comes to the duration, it's typically, you know, it's flexible, you know, typically one to two years you will be able to complete this degree. Two levels of exams it has. You require a bachelor's degree or any relevant professional experience, you know, in the same domain. It opens up options for you as asset allocator or as a risk manager or as a fund administrator. Typical range of salary is from 5 lakhs to 25 lakhs depending upon how much of experience that you have. The next one is the certified financial planner. The CFP certification is offered by the financial planning standards board and is ideal for those who are interested in personal financial planning. Typical duration for this is 6 months to 24 months multiple modules it has and it has a final exam there is a, a normal way of doing it and there's a, a progressive way of doing it in which you are only supposed to give just one exam and you complete a cfp and that is meant for working professionals we will have a detailed video on this in the other modules for a typical eligibility you should be a 12th grade pass preferably with a commerce background right and it opens up options for you in the field of financial planning, wealth management, and as an insurance advisor, right? So typical salary ranges uh, is in the range from 5 lakhs to 8 lakhs per annum, but off late, there's been a lot of demand by a lot of corporates, especially banks and financial institutions, you know, who are hiring CFPs uh, at even much higher salaries because there's a lot of demand for HNIs uh, to manage their wealth in a productive and a judicious manner. The next certification is the International Financial Reporting Standards, IFRS. Uh, typically an accounting degree, the IFRS certification is globally recognized and focuses on international accounting standards. When it comes to the duration, it typically varies a few months because uh, you need to have uh, the understanding of it. There's a single exam, you get it, you get the certification of IFRS and you need to be from an accounting background and you need to have interest in the same domain for you to you know, really appreciate this. When it comes to the job prospects, you know, uh, you know, financial reporting specialist, you can become auditor, you can become or a compliance officer. You know, as you as you get more experience and expertise in the in the same domain. The typical salary ranges from three lakhs to 20, 20, 21 lakhs, twenty two lakhs, depending upon you know how much of experience that you gain over a period of time. So, more tenured you become, you know, your market value also increases simultaneously. So these courses and certifications can significantly enhance your prospects for an international career in the field of finance because all of them are globally recognized and certified because they will equip you with the skills and credentials needed to excel in the global markets and they are not specific to the Indian context. And for example, if you are a CFA, you are a CFA for life, you are an uh, FRM, you are an FRM for life. In the Wall Street School, we cater to many of them a lot of candidates are taking the same to complete not only their degrees but also as an important means to go abroad which is at the back of their mind. So that's a wrap here for this video. In case you find it insightful, to share with your friends and your colleagues and visit us at www.thewallstreetschool.com or call us at 93550-57509.